Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsot. Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. All the elders of Israel came in a body to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Now that you are old and your sons do not follow your example, appoint a king over us, as other nations have, to judge us. Samuel was displeased when they asked for a king to judge them. He prayed to the Lord, however, who said in answer, Grant the people's every request. It is not you they reject. They are rejecting me as their king. Samuel delivered the message of the Lord in full. 
to those who were asking him for a king. He told them, The rights of the king who will rule you will be as follows. He will take your sons and assign them to his chariots and horses, and they will run before his chariot. He will also appoint from among them his commanders of groups of a thousand and of a hundred soldiers. He will set them to do his plowing and his harvesting and to make his implements of war and the equipment of his chariots. He will also use your daughters as ointment makers, as cooks, and as bakers. He will take the best of your fields, vineyards, and olive groves, and give them to his officials. He will tithe your crops and your vineyards and give the revenue to his eunuchs and his slaves. He will take your male and female servants, as well as your best oxen and asses, and use them to do his work. He will tithe your flocks and give, and you yourselves will become his slaves. When this takes place, you will complain against the king whom you have chosen. But on that day, the Lord will not answer you. The people, however, refused to listen to Samuel's warning and said, Not so, there must be a king over us. We too must be like other nations with a king to rule us and lead us in one warfare and fight our battles. When Samuel had listened to all the people had to say, he repeated it to the Lord, who then said to him, Grant the request and appoint a king to rule them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. For you are the splendor of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For to the Lord belongs our shield, and to the Holy One of Israel, our King. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door, and he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men, Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? 
Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, Rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, for the past days, we have been following the story of Samuel. We heard how Samuel was given as an answer to the prayer of his mother, Hannah. How Hannah, in thanksgiving to God for granting her prayers, offered Samuel, her son, for the service of the temple. And how the boy Samuel, while serving at the temple, was called by God to a prophetic mission. In our first reading today, we jumped, we jump to Samuel's old age. And the Israelites demanded Samuel to ask God to appoint a king to rule over them. And what was the reason of the Israelites why they wanted a king to rule over them? The reason was not because they want the king to help them to be more faithful to God, who is their only king. The Israelites wanted to have a king so that they may be like the other nations who had their kings. Gusto nilang magkaroon ng hari sapagkat gusto nilang maging katulad ng mga ibang kaharian na merong kanyang hari. They wanted a king not because the king will lead them closer to God, but because they want their king to rule them and to lead them in warfare and their battles. It did not matter for the Israelites whether having their own king was God's will or not. It, that, it did not matter for them whether the king will be good for them or not. All that mattered is that they want to have a king because they want to be like the other nations who are ruled by kings. And so the reason was not really heavenly. Their concern was more earthly. In our gospel today, a paralytic was brought to Jesus for healing. And instead of just saying, you are healed, the first words that Jesus said to the paralytic were, Child, your sins are forgiven. Dinala nila yung may sakit kay Jesus para pagalingin ang kanyang physical na karamdaman. 
Pero ang unang sinabi ni Jesus ay hindi magaling ka na, tumayo ka na. Ang unang sinabi ni Jesus ay pinapatawad na ang iyong mga kasalanan. More than giving the paralytic physical healing, Jesus gave the man spiritual healing. More than attending just to his earthly needs, Jesus also attended to his heavenly needs. My dear brothers and sisters, when we pray to God, do we just usually ask for earthly, physical, and material needs? Do we also pray for our spiritual and heavenly needs? When we pray, do we just pray for material wealth, for things of this world? Kapag ba tayo'y nananalangin ang pinagdarasal lang natin, Panginoon, sana makaahon kami sa hirap. Sana magkaroon kami ng mas maraming pera. Sana meron kaming kainin araw-araw. Sana gumaling na ang aming sakit. Sana maabot namin ang aming pangarap. Sana magkaroon kami ng masaya at marangyang buhay. Sana makapagbakasyon kami sa lugar na gusto naming puntahan. Sana magkaroon kami ng bagong sasakyan, ng bagong bahay, ng bagong aplayan sa bahay. Sana magkaroon kami ng trabaho. Sana magkaroon kami ng maayos na pamumuhay. Are we just praying for things of this world? Do we also pray for spiritual things? Do we pray that God may make us good persons? Pinagdarasal ba natin, Panginoon, gawin mo akong mabuting tao. Panginoon, turuan mo akong makipagkapwa-tao. Panginoon, gawin mo akong generous, mapagbigay sa aking kapwa. Panginoon, tulungan mo akong maging tapat. Panginoon, tulungan mo akong maging honest. Panginoon, liwanagan mo ang aking isip sa iyong katotohanan. Panginoon, sana'y paniwalaan ko ang katotohanan at magsalita lamang ako ng katotohanan. Panginoon, gawin mo akong banal. Gusto kong maging santo. Panginoon, iligtas mo ako at dalin mo ako sa iyong kaharian. Do we pray for those things? Or do we only pray for our earthly concerns? Hindi naman masamang magdasal para sa mga bagay sa mundong ito. Pero sana ang ating pagdarasal para sa mga bagay na mo sa mundong ito ay nagdadala sa atin sa mga bagay na makalangit. When we pray for our family, let us not only pray for good things of this world for our loved ones. Ipagdasal natin na sana ang ating pamilya ay maging banal na pamilya nagkakaisa sa pagmamahalan at pagsunod sa kalooban ng Diyos. Ipagdasal natin na magkaroon tayo ng mabubuting leader. Hindi lamang dahil kababayan ko yun, hindi lamang dahil sa napanood ko tungkol doon, kundi dahil ang leader na ito ay tutulungan tayong sundin ang kabutihan at ang kalooban ng Diyos. When we pray for earthly things, let us see to it that they lead us to heavenly concerns as well. How do you pray? What do you pray for? My dear brothers and sisters, 
let us raise the level of our prayers. Let us not pray only for worldly, physical, and material things. Let us pray for greater things, for things that will bring us to heaven. God's love for us is so great that He gives us not only what we need, not only what we want, but also what we need. God's love for us is so great that He gives us more than what we ask for. We pray only for just physical and earthly things. But our God, who is love, attends even to our spiritual and heavenly needs. And so when you pray, when you pray in this Mass, when you pray today, pray for greater things because that pleases our Lord. Please stand. With all the trust of the paralytic's friends, let us bring to the Lord the needs and miseries of the church and of the world. For, our, for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide the church in carrying out Christ's mission to preach forgiveness of sins to all who seek God's mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may foster peace in the hearts of men and women by our readiness to forgive and forget past offenses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that we may be ready to bring Christ, especially to those whose lives were shattered by painful circumstances. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may continue to hope and to trust in God, who wishes wholeness for everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our departed brethren may have fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we in turn show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's sublation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness 
and obtain what they devoutly entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagling walang sala Pusong dalisay dakila Maria ina ng awan